We're so fortunate here at KXY4 News throughout the season to meet so many talented athletes. One that left a mark, Jace Malik, lost his battle to cancer last year. But we're going to continue to honor him this season, especially the Jace Malik Award for Toughness. We're going to give that out to anybody who shows that same sort of strength and courage that Jace showed us the last couple of years. So if you know of anyone that reminds you Jace uses those same characteristics, please send us an email to sports at kxy.com. And those Eagles playing in Jace's honor, and boy, are they making him proud. What a show they put on tonight. Let's head out to West Valley. Homecoming, and it played out like a homecoming game should. West Valley taking on Kellogg. 41 zip in the first half, and this kind of illustrates why. Blake Transu getting out of his way. Probably a decent idea. Eagles up seven touchdowns late in the half. Defense getting in on the act too. Kellogg trying to get something going instead. Cruz Bale takes us to the half with a pick. Second stanza more of the same. Transu, quarterback keeper. He's going to go 75 yards to the hut untouched as West Valley cruises. Final score 58 to nothing. What do you say we head down to the Palouse? Clarkston visiting Pullman. Here's the definition of wide open. A.J. Davis to Nicholas Robinette cuts the Pullman lead to 11. Worked so well last time. What do you say we go back to the well? Davis buys some time, then gonna finally hit Robinette and the blind squirrel finds his nut. Scampers in for his second TD of the quarter, but Pullman, they had the answers tonight. Jake Silly to Ben Moose who pitches it back to Cameron Lang. Made it 29-16 Pullman. They go on to a 43-16 triumph. Uh, I ate, ate too much meat, I think. I got the, the meat sweats going. I'm about to take a nap. Let's go out to East Valley at Cheney. Hopefully that'll wake me back up. Blackhawks trailing at home to the Mighty Knights. Fisher, man, Coach Fisher, he works up an appetite on that sideline. Trailing early, but here come the Blackhawks. Cole Heinrichs going deep, and that's a good idea. Former Shiny Star Cameron Hart makes a heck of a play. Cheney's in business, and they're going to punch it in. Chris Fuentes takes it off the left side. Going to punch through a couple defenders and dive his way under the pylon right there. Cheney, though, still trailing at the half. Second half, Mighty Knights back on the attack. Dylan Smith swings it up to Roderick Jackson. Great move there. Kicks out of a tackle there, and he's giggity, giggity gone. 50 yards for the touchdown. Man, that guy's fast. And they're going to finish it off, those Mighty Knights. Isaiah Irvin looking like his old man Tim just punches it in from four yards out. East Valley rolls in this one 47 to 34. Those are Keith Oso's Mighty Knights. These are Keith Oso's baked beans and his new fancy crock pot. We're going to hear about this for a long, long time. How about Chewila and Deer Park? The Stags really having their way so far this season. No baked beans needed there. Seven to six at the break after recess. Connor O'Day rifles it to Austin Wissinger. Picks up a chunk of yards here, then just keeps on going. He's G-O-N-E gone. See you later. 72 yards to pay dirt. Makes it 13 to six. The Stags starting to figure this thing out. Dean Lockwood takes it outside. Number 33 for 33 yards in a TD. Attack on six points, 20 to six. It's homecoming there, so the D, they want in on the dance too. Alon Cross heaves it, and Ethan Newman says, hey, who wants to party? Because Deer Park dominates tonight, 20 to six. The final even after a lightning delay. I got to tell you, the gauntlet has been thrown down. Best student section I've seen out there so far this year, Medical Lake. Their team hasn't had a lot to cheer for, but their students are there anyway, and they have a mascot. Yeah, that's right, hashtag save the mascots. Not a good start for the home team, though. First play of the game, snap over the head of the quarterback, through the back of the end zone. That's a safety for the Rams. So they get the ball back, and they're going to capitalize on it. Hand it off to John Kopic. The big fella turns the corner. Get off me. Get off me again. Third get off me. Nobody's going to tackle that guy. Nine to nothing, Riverside. They're looking for more. John Baghetti going deep, but it's a trap. Ty Masteller picks it off. Nice catch over the shoulder. Cardinals now looking to make uh, that opportunity count, but it's a fumble on the play. Joshua Stapp's going to pounce on it for Riverside, and the Rams hit the road, come home with a 32-point win. Lots of great highlights on the show, but you yourself can get involved as well. Hit us up on social media, hashtag FNSE. Here's a look at some of the pictures from tonight. Ooh. Dana sending in a great one. Wow. How about that? Lakeside upsets Freeman. Another picture we got here for you. Annie, that's a great shot too. Freeman 
Man, have they looked good so far this year. Of course, you want to get involved, use the hashtag on Twitter, FNSE. We'd love to have your pictures, tweets, a part of our show. We're going to have to take a break because Sarah decided to hit the pulled pork. So good job by Wheeler, not afraid to eat some pulled pork. That's good stuff. You guys got it? it? You guys That's got it? That's good stuff. We got a lot more. We have track meets with huddles, eight-man football, and the Washington Huskies taking on seventh-ranked Stanford Cardinal. That's coming your way next on Friday Night Sports Action.